This probability solution video is for text and test 4, page 187, question 19. So in this uh, question, an exam paper consists of 12 questions and the questions are divided up into section A and section B. We're told there are five questions in section A and the rest are in section B. So we've got five questions and seven questions there. And we need to select five questions to do the exam and we must have at least two from each section. So to make this easier to figure out, I'm going to try and visualize it first of all. So I'm going to color code and I'm going to call section A the orange section and section B the green section. So let's see then all the different ways that we can answer five questions while making sure to answer at least two from each section. So let's imagine that I decide to answer two questions from section A and I'll represent those with these two dots. Well, then I must answer three questions from section B. So that's one option for how I answer my questions from my exam. But there's other options as well because I can have at least two from each section. So I could decide to answer three questions from section A, in which case I'd answer two questions from section B. But now I can't answer any more than that from section A, because if I chose four questions from section A, I'd be down to only having one question from section B. And of course, I have to have at least two, so I can't dip down below two in either case. So really, these are the only two viable possibilities for the question. I can answer two from section A and three from section B, or three from section A and two from section B. And just note that either of these can happen, the first or the second. And when we see the word or being mentioned in probability, we're of course going to be thinking about the addition rule then. And I know this isn't strictly probability yet, but it's in the probability chapter. So we're following the same rules here. Okay, so now can we work out so the number of different ways in which these can happen? So for my first option, I have to choose two questions from section A and three questions from section B. So here's my calculation for choosing two from section A. So I've got five questions in section A, I have to choose two. And then for section B, I've got seven questions. And for this option, I want to choose three of those. Note that I need to choose two from section A and three from section B. That means I must multiply those calculations together to work out the number of ways in which I can do that. So go to your calculator and work that out. And you should get 350. So there's 350 ways of making that first choice, two from A and three from B. Now we have to do it for three for A and two from B. So pause the video here and give that one a shot yourself and see what you come up with and then play and see if you're correct. Okay, so for this option, so I want to choose three from section A. There's five questions to choose from. So I'll calculate five, choose three. And then I've got seven questions in section B and I want to choose two of those. So that's seven, choose two. And I need the three questions from A and the two questions from B. So I'm going to multiply those together then to get my solution. So off to the calculator. And we find that there are 210 possible ways of doing it that way. So like I said earlier, I want the first option here or the second option. That means I need to add. So I want to add up these two results here to get my final number of options. And my fi final answer here is that there are 560 different ways where I can choose five questions from the paper where I answer at least two from each section.